What's up, everyone? Welcome to Hidden Power. My name is Dusty Go Goat. Uh, with me as well, we also have the Lumios Post. Glad to be here, as always. It, and we also have Soul Silver Art. Hey, what's up, guys? Hidden Power is a Pokemon podcast. Today, we're going to be doing our first impressions of the Pokedex, uh, just running through all of the Pokemon. We've got so many thoughts. So first Absolutely. up, let's we we get the starter Pokemon. Which ones did you guys pick? I think we did. Uh, we all uh, pick Foy Coco. I picked Foy Coco. <laughs> Yeah, I picked Flake we Coco are, as well. We're Coco gay. Let's do it. Right I now. used Quaxley as well, but I did not pick him. Did not choose him. He went to someone else. Right. He he was an orphan Quaxley that I adopted. Oh, really? But Foy Coco <laughs> was my biological son. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've yet to get my hands on a Sprigatito. I really do want to use uh, Floragato. I think the design is so nice. It's it's the best mid-stage design. It not might be better than Meowth but, oh, it is better than Mascarada, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah it is. It, it's it is. the best mid-stage starter of this gen, and honestly, that we've had in a long time, in my opinion. What, what do, you, do you guys have overall thoughts about the decks and, like, just kind of, like, in, in comparing it to other Pokemon generations and other Pokedexes? I would compare it to Gen 5, just in that I feel that they got really experimental with this one, and, and mm -hmm. I'm not saying that badly at all. I loved it. Um, you know, there are things that I love in this game. There, there are a few things that I do not like in this game, but I overall, I think love it or hate it. The designs were super experimental, like Gym five, and you're yeah. going to have a lot of people point to things and say, this is the stupidest thing that's ever been made. But in two or three years, you're also going to have people point to a uh, Titan and say, this is the best thing that's ever been made. Well, so Titan was really, really well done. <laughs> Titan is amazing. That's cool. I think that's a tough one to beat. Like that one's always going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, overall, like, man, this is a crazy generation of designs. Like even even the games themselves, design wise, just I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't agree with with Lumi here. I have like very mixed feelings and mixed opinions on the whole style of everything. Not like it's the very game different. itself or anything, but. Just yeah, just the overall art style is very odd. Like the my number one word for it is just weird. It's so weird. It's yes. not like it's not normal Pokemon in the sense of what we've seen and known. It's very hard to like pinpoint where it's at. And a lot of the designs of Pokemon are very just like hard to to take in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah i think i think you know people always say every time a new pokemon's revealed uh this looks like a digimon and i, I don't yeah. play digimon but i think this is the gen where you're going to see people saying that more than any other gen even something yeah. just as like sharply like the, the 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 like the biology of veluza it looks so unnatural right well and it does the whole fillet away thing where exactly it, it literally up its body it like kills itself and somehow it's not a ghost type um, yeah. Then you you have things like Palafin, right? Like, why does this exist? <laughs> That's kind of so how I feel. Like, can you see this in Gen One? Yeah, I could see Palafin in Gen One. Well, yeah, just Palafin, not the hero thing. Yeah. But yeah. Um, like that's a huge part of um of the whole thing. Like, I have looking at a Gen One poster that I have in my room, right? And just looking at them, they're so simple and animal like. I feel mm -hmm. like this gen is not, there's too much not animal, you know, like Mr. Mime's in gen toy one, but he's like, they are. Yeah. Animal. Yeah. And a lot it's of this has to do, I mean, this is something that we've talked about. A lot of this has to do with like the, the context of what, like of, of where these Pokemon were designed to fit into. And obviously they were designed to fit into a Game Boy color game or not even a Game Boy color game, right? A Game Boy That's game. That's also true. So like, I yeah. feel like that is a main thing. And every time that the te technology of a Pokemon game advances, we do start seeing designs that fit the technology better. Uh, when I saw, when I first saw all the generation five Pokemon, like a lot of them felt like, I, I think that was the first gen where people were like, you know, these are not Pokemon designs. They've lost right? their touch. Which is, They're which is what out you're of ideas. saying. <laughs> yeah, like that's where that's where I feel like a lot of that rhetoric popped up. And mm -hmm. what, as soon as I saw these Pokemon, the Generation 5 Pokemon in X and Y, in full 3D, it all made sense. You have all of right. a sudden Pokemon like 
Literally, any of the Pokemon, like uh, like Kling Kling, right? You can actually see all of its details. You can see how it works within the context of a 3D game. Um, mm -hmm. I'm wondering... I've got two thoughts. My first thought is I think a lot of these Pokemon look amazing in the world of Scarlet and Violet. I think there's a lot of animalistic Pokemon, which I like. Personally, I like that. I think I, think I like yes. a good balance of animal, monster, and then also more like character design Machine. Pokemon. Yeah. Right? Um, I think I think that all works. So I, I don't know. I think some of these Pokemon, when you when we first saw them, uh, just as like as just the, the the raw model, they seem kind of out of place. Um, I don't know. But I'm looking at Scovillain right now. Like it really is such a weird Pokemon. But at the same time, I think to me it just looks like it could fit right in with Gen One as a Do Duo. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Titan I, looks very Gen Three to me. Yeah. They do have like a big mix of, but then there's just some that are just like, man, this is out left field. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. so what what are the, some of the Pokemon that are really throwing you off? I mean, I really like Reller. Reller is is yeah, just. Is I don't even know what to say about this the Pokemon. Like beetle, why right? why is it a man? Why is it a man? Is it a yeah. man? It's a beetle, right? Zoom in, it's... zoom in on its face, Dusty. It looks like a little old man. Like a little old homeless man. And it's, yeah. and it's a bug. And it's just like, God, why? Why was this created? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if Reller is your favorite Pokemon, but I don't think anyone is going to actually... I like I like Rabska, though. I see, but Rabska, I do... I'm so conflicted on Rabska. Like, I love bug Pokemon. That's why this one is probably so, so crazy to me. If I love bug Pokemon, and I was excited for this, and I saw it when I first saw it, and it looked incredible... And then I realized that it still has an old man face. It's yeah. still yeah, you a little flip it upside old man. down and it's a mustache. I think I can see that a little bit more. Yeah. But at the same time, I guess, do we have images of what this Pokemon's eyes look like when they're open? We um, do. They're it's glowing. their Dex one. Yeah. That looks okay. cool. But it yeah. still is it still is a man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still I, I, kills a little me. a little man. He looks like he'd be like swindling people from money in a Disney movie. Yeah, it it looks like like little town hero. Like you know, Game Freak's little game yeah, that they made yeah. on the Vigley, side. Vigley, yes, yeah. it's kind of something like that. Some I didn't play some that game. designer from that. I didn't play it either, but I saw some some designs from it. You know, like because they had monsters in it. Yeah, it just feels yeah. like from a different monster world. Like uh, I don't if know. If I'm being honest, guys, I'm not seeing anything that you're saying. I think okay. this just looks like a regular old Pokemon. It, this, this is like Pinsir. You gotta zoom in a lot. No, you got, you gotta like. Have, yeah, what do you mean? I'm telling you. You gotta I'm get a you, He's picture. right. <laughs> <laughs> he is right. It looks like a little. It looks like a man who would be in a. Oh, look at its Dex picture, uh, Dusty. Where would um, that be? Here, I'll I'll send it in chat. But uh, okay, it is. If you zoom in on its face in this Dex picture, you can see it. In the it's meantime, a little man. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, I wonder yeah. if um there it perhaps is. the uh, you see it. Yeah, I I don't think it's that offensive though. This is not when you guys you, were talking about. Can you flip him? Flip him yeah. all the way over. Can I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So you were gonna move on. What was that? Yeah, uh, I was gonna say. I wonder if the reason the designs are uh, um so out there, and I do think they always kind of take steps uh, each gen, like they kind of go in a a. a a further direction but they did leap in this gen and i wonder if part of that is because of um james turner leaving game freak I, that's interesting he was their art director he was I have still so many credited. thoughts on that he was still Go the art it. director in this game like he's credited in the credits or whatever i looked for him when the credits were rolling on my game and uh but you know he, he would have been stepping back you know yeah so from leak season I was under the impression that he was still going to be the art director of these games. Um, so I think maybe his transition happened in the middle of this. Um, so he might have started off as art director and then it swapped over to, um, I forget their name, but it's a different art director, obviously, someone that's not done it before. Um, and it's a, big, it's a big deal. Like it's a whole different style, a whole different person. I don't know if his if James Turner's style was mixed in or just if this is still his style, I'm not sure what happened. I, we have to like wait to find out all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, we, we don't know why he left, right? 
He left to just... form his own game. He uh, yeah. He did his own game. I don't remember the name of it, but it was like, uh, it's like a little uh, action game. It, it gave me kind of like a Link's Awakening the remake vibes because yeah. it was like a little toy or whatever. So I mean, I feel I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the only, maybe this is just a bias on my end, but the only time I really knew of the Pokemon art director, or I guess was it always Sugimori? I don't no. know. I only know of Turner. Yeah, Turner popped up. It was like he was like a celebrity because he was like the the first uh, like non Japanese person to be right. the art director. But Born forever, sure. ever since the very first generation, there's always been multiple artists who have been involved with the creation of. I mean, like all these well, Pokemon. That's so true now. That's yeah, so true that's what now. I'm saying. Like every Pokedex is so varied, and there are a lot of different design elements. So I feel like what would the what would the what would the responsibilities of an art director be? Just to make sure so, that they're selecting the right Pokemon for the game, or yeah. to really change the designs. I believe so, they get issued an order. Like the art team gets issued. Like because I know when they talked about. Uh, Ponyard and B-Sharp, when his artist talked about it, he said they were ordered to design a steel dark type Pokemon that would live in cities. And that's, mm. he had to take that information to design B-Sharp. See, that's cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. Because, like yeah, that, so that yeah if you're the director, design. yeah, it's like, it's like I, I want, you know, this is going to be the story and then it's, it, I need these shots and this, these kind of elements. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. That's that pretty cool. Time. They're charged with flesh and to say. There's yeah. a lot, um, there's a lot that goes into it that we don't know about. Like we have yeah. no idea. Um, and most people have like their own ideas about it and it's usually not right. So I don't even know if things that I'm saying are correct, but I'm under the impression that basically in a normal art director kind of job is the way Pokemon works. We know for sure there's a handful of people. They're all making Pokemon um, yeah. separately. And then, yes they need to pass through the art director and he's the one or she's the one that is like, okay, yeah, this is good. We tweak this, we do this. And it's just like the overall style for the whole. So the art director even goes through the whole game, the whole generation. But is it the, the style? Characters. Is it the style of the actual Sometimes art? Sometimes because... it's the mon itself. James Turner said that Phantom was a cut mon. Yeah, I, I totally believe that because he direct he um, designed some of those as well. Like he designed, even the art director designed some. Um, so, so what he, the role that he's under in this game so far is just that he designed some characters and some Pokemon. He didn't, he was not the art director officially. Yeah. Um, he totally designed Quaxley. Quaxley is a James Turner designer. I think, I think he did all three starters personally. Yeah, really? I don't, I don't know about the, the final evolutions, but he definitely did the first stages, in my opinion. I, think, I don't know. I think it would be but, fun to have three different artists with different styles do a different starter. You know, like, you take yeah. grass, you take fire, you take That's water. probably what has happened. Maybe in the past, yeah. I don't know. They like to keep a theme, you know, kind of. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I definitely think he probably... I think James probably... Uh, he probably created um, Sarah Ledge and Armor Rouge. Yeah. I don't it's know because he, he, he does do some Capcom, really cool ones. Right? Yeah, that is true. That is oh no true. no no! Actually, I know who did that. I know who designed them. Um, oh, you do. It is it, yeah. It is the guy who did Mega Mega Man stuff. Um, oh, I, maybe I'm I don't know their names. Up with that person. Yeah, I will butcher their names. Um, okay. yeah. But I, I follow them on Twitter and all that. Uh, they yeah. definitely did it just because they are literally the same. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, so I think another aspect of like why this Dex feels very weird is definitely the introduction of Paradox Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, well, and I'd say like not just the Paradoxes, but also the what, what is it we called them in uh, Leak Season Regional Fakes. You know, the, uh, the yeah, little, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. <laughs> like they're all like all these things on like let's take a pokemon but make it different you know yeah, but let's it's take not a regional variant cruel and make it stand up right yeah the paradox is honestly when i first saw this deck so first impression like right off the bat now my opinion's already changed a lot but when i first saw everything i'm like wow the paradoxes are the best thing in this deck yeah and i was kind of sad because i was like they're already pokemon that we've had so no wonder why they're the best things in this deck <laughs> but now a lot of the other designs have grown on me like a lot um so right. they're kind of even either way the paradoxes are freaking awesome i so didn't expect are, it the violet ones like 
Iron Hand specifically, that's, you know, the uh, Hariyama one. Sure. That doesn't even, like, that is different enough for me to say it's a new Pokemon. That's not a Hariyama. You know, like, it's so different from Hariyama. It has a similar body shape, but it really is a totally different design. Right. I mean, like, at that point, then, you know, there's there's other Pokemon with similar body shapes. You know, Gardevoir and, I don't know, Gallade have similar body shapes, but they're, you know, they're different yeah the the some of them it's like some of them are really different and then some of them are like carbon copies um, I, iron Ju- uh, juggalus is dude, literally I just no mecha right. hydragon but right but it's awesome i don't know if you guys have seen it in game i'm gonna start posting no, some pictures yet. on twitter dude it's the it cutest one how is it cute? iron juggalus is cute yeah it's cute oh, God, tag it's, me then it's like face completely shuts off and it's like totally robotic like oh, you can't yeah. see there but it's it's like fingers and stuff and it's um wings are like totally robot it's kind of weird it's very different it's like a toy just, yeah that, that i is, think that's kind of cute the shiny version on sarah but you guys can't really see it right now here yeah they're, they're, um, they're but all its, eyes, it's eyes are shut which is adorable yeah that is, that is pretty cute i i didn't I, I mean this is one of the ones i didn't like when i first saw it it's weird what they did so everyone was like the violet ones won't have any personality because they're robots like i pick her because it's got life and all that yeah but the got violet the pattern, yeah, paradoxes yeah <laughs> the violet paradoxes they gave them so much life in the animations it's crazy i i don't even i think that they're better all around like i didn't okay. think so at first when i first saw i them. think they I made was... sure to overcompensate for them being mm-hmm. robots and lifeless they made sure to give them life yep yeah, i will say i'm I mean, I haven't even encountered the core. I, I, I did encounter, uh, what is it, Great Tusk. But I, that was the only paradox I've seen so far in my gameplay. And I'm looking at this list of the Violet Paradox, and it's got me a little jealous. I would like to have that Tyranitar, Iron Thorns. Yeah, the, that I, was the big thing with, with the like deciding which one you wanted. I feel like Violet overall had better ones, but um, Scarlet like the, has the best ones. Yeah, I, I think Scarlet has like a, <laughs> the ones the, that Scarlet has that hits hard hits harder than the Violet yeah. ones, and they change mm-hmm. more. I think it felt like a newer right. experience that I was after. Yes, I I, I, I really say, want to put Great Tusk on my team. I I, I have one, and I'm like, I want to use this do kind it, of man. ground yeah. fighting. That's an exclusive typing too, so that that kind of makes it special. That's cool. Um, I will say I hated the concept of Paradox Pokemon when we heard about them from leaks. Yeah. I hated paradox pokemon going into the game seeing them in game uh changes everything i really? love i agree them. i yeah. love these they look so good and even just i mean like especially probably the one i liked the best was roaring moon and slitherwing which is salamence and uh volcarona's um you know scarlet paradoxes and i i uh, Dude, I'm telling you, Slitherwing, no sprite, no picture on the internet will do it justice. When you I see it in agree. game, oh my tell god. Tell me, tell me, Slitherwing should have been Bug Dragon. Oh, it should have been, been Bug been. Dragon. It should have been. It absolutely so cool. should have been. I can't I do believe not see that it the is the fighting type. I do not see the. It's even got you can't really tell in the sprite, but dude, it has a lizard tail. It has is a it? straight up lizard yes. tail. It has a it tail. It is a lizard. Yeah, yes. it's a whole. It has brute bonnet. It's by a whole oh freaking dinosaur. I love that. It's amazing. It's my favorite. That's so 100%. cool. Yeah, we already got there, but anyway, we'll we'll talk about that more <laughs> later. Um, <laughs> it's hard to. But avoid. yeah, the, the paradoxes. Yeah, the paradoxes are. Well, what I what I really thought good. the paradox were gonna be, I thought they were gonna be late game, like I thought they were gonna be like the ultra beasts, because even though the ultra beasts have stories behind them, I still never felt it too attached to them, and they're literally aliens, right? So you, I you, I mean I don't know for me. I'm tempted to be like they didn't have backstory, but they they did they did have backstory. For whatever reason, though, like I just never really got attached to the Ultra Beasts. I thought this was going to be the same case with the Paradox, and already be, uh, having Great Tusk woven into the story, um, I'm already like super attached to it, and I'm excited to see the rest of them. I think yeah. these are more Pokemon design looking than Ultra Beasts. Like Ultra yeah, Beasts are great. way alien. Like the even no the, face. Even things, these or... look crazy, right? These are the Right. Uh, it's it's things like the paradox salamence. Uh, that is what that's a great example for when people want to say like this looks like a Digimon. This literally looks like one of those final form humanoid uh, Digimon designs. 
Yeah. It's massive. Now, I'll say, like, that That was kind of the the whole thing is, like, all the paradoxes, when I saw their designs beforehand, like I said, the only ones I liked beforehand was Roaring Moon and Slitherwing. I thought Brute Bonnet and Great Tusk, I was just kind of uh, mid on them. I hated Screamtail, Sandy Shocks, and Fluttermane. I now think yeah. Screamtail Scarlet. is all right. Screamtail is like, good. It is. It's good. It's like a regional uh, Jigglypuff. Right. Sandy Shocks, I actually think is pretty cool. It's not it's my so cup cool. of tea, but it's cool. That has a tail uh, too. Fluttermane is the only one I'm not a fan of. Uh, and that's it's, just because it's mischievous with longer hair. Yeah. It's pretty plain. You know, that she plain. actually has like wings. Like that. Those are like feathers out of okay. the hair. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, I mean, this isn't spoilery because it's like an easter egg in the game it's like a book you can find in like a on a bookshelf but it there's like a book that's talking about fluttermane and it says that like legend has it this is a ghost of a pterosaur wow it's <laughs> pretty cool that's so sick i think that um, made me feel a little bit better about it but i still i'm still just kind of like looking at that and looking at like brute bonnet slitherwing great tusk i am kind of like eh, you could have given us something better yeah, yeah, there are some Pokemon where it literally feels like they used a, like an like a random number generator to decide right. which Pokemon was gonna get a new right. form, and then did what they could with it. I mean, I think it really comes down to like, what is the purpose of of like giving this a new form, right? And then also like, yeah, just what is the purpose, and then like, are you actually gonna do something new with it? I feel like Sandy right. Shocks, Great Tusk, Slitherwing, they're all justified. But like you said, Flutter, Fluttermane, why? Brute Bonnet, it looks kind of just the same exact thing, right? Maybe. Oh, no, Brute maybe Bonnet there's looks a, so different, man. It's got it four really, legs and a tail. It really is different. Oh, it's it's got so four, different. It's got four legs? And a tail, yes. It, like oh, I said, I that's one of those that like when you see it in game, it's like, oh, okay, no, that's actually pretty All solid. Right. I yeah. agree. Like, like it. I was going to actually bring this up. Like compared to the leak that we got of Brute Bonnet, yeah, when we little... saw it, we were just like, it's an Amoongus and that's it. This thing is right. completely different than an Amoongus. They did so oh, much to it. They did a lot to it. It's face, it's mouth, it's head, it's legs and tail. Like all yeah, of it. In chat, it's I good. sent a picture of its tail. Um, oh, yeah. pull it up. It's really cool. Um, on that note, like, were there any other designs or paradoxes even where you kind of uh, didn't know you didn't like them or you you were kind of just i guess uh indifferent to them but seeing them in game made you like fall in love with them um literally, literally yeah. all of violets all of violets all of violets paradoxes yep yep i would thought that they were just going to be plain old robots and not have anything in there they are it's crazy that's See, awesome. man they, i can't on iron treads i can't iron treads is so i hate it Iron Treads, Iron is, Treads is bad. I think Iron they Treads massacred my boy. They massacred. It's my the boy. face. It's just they, the they face. They literally right. massacred him. They yeah. literally. He doesn't I, I have a head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that's I, and I thought that was so funny too that yeah. that happened. Like everybody was like, "Oh, Team Violet," you know, all the way. Corridon sucks. Who was saying that? Then. And then when, dude, everybody. And then when yeah. Great Tusk and Iron Treads got revealed, everyone was like, "Just canceled Violet pre-order. Pre-ordered Scarlet." <laughs> Literally, <laughs> who said that? The the narrative was the exact opposite. No, I'm trolling. I, it was me. That is, uh, that was about. To <laughs> I never saw. I was like one of the. I literally, two, like, I literally walked. So this is what actually happened. I walked to GameStop. I didn't walk. I drove to GameStop, and I was gonna cancel my <laughs> my Violet pre-order. But then I said, you know what? Let me just also get Scarlet. So I got both of them. Okay. There you go. Solid. Good, good promotion right there. A hundred um, IQ move. When I went so, to go pick up Violet, like the the midnight release or whatever, I was sitting there waiting, and I didn't have a ticket or anything, um, mm-hmm. and everyone else did, and I was just like, all right, I hope they don't like get rid of all the Violet ones. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone got everyone got Scarlet, like literally everyone, and I was like, dang, this is completely changed. Leak the leaks completely it changed did. it because people. People were not, they were all about Cerulege 100%. They're like, mm-hmm. Cerulege is, is what I'm getting. Violet's better. All of the, you know, Mariah and all that. So it changed. Yeah. yeah kind of crazy. It's good. For the better. I think People to answer your question, yeah, to answer your question, Lumi, um, I think there a lot of the bird Pokemon 
I thought were going to be really boring, but they're beautiful to see out in the open. Mm-hmm. Maybe not Squawkabilly as much, but Flamigo is so powerful. I love mm-hmm. seeing Watrell and Killer Watrell. These remind me of Talo and Swello. I love yes. seeing them. They're so much no, more interesting, I've... but I like, and I want to use one on my on my Violet team. I've always said it was kind of like a meme, especially in like the Anipoki community. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember back in advance, Ash was battling the double battle uh, gym leaders with Swellow and Pikachu. Yes. And he ended up yeah. using Thunder Armor. He shot his own Swellow with Thunderbolt and it gave it like this electric and like yellow and black. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Coat. That's Kilowattrel to me. That's like that's awesome. what it looks like. <laughs> that's so cool. It's true. I, I, I really do love it so much. Um, so it's a great design. Even Bombardier, uh, Bombardier is sick. I mean, you fight that as a Titan, um, and then later yeah. you find more of them, and it, it's a cool Pokemon. I haven't used it, but um, but yeah. That's the thing. There's so many Pokemon in this decks that I keep wanting to use. I'll put them on my team for like maybe like an hour, and then I go, well, this one's even better. I'll put this one on my team now. Yeah. They've grown on me so much as a whole. That's yeah. that's definitely the the truth. And that's always what happens to me every generation no matter what. Yeah. But I still like when when all of the newness kind of goes away, I feel like I'll come back to it and be like that's this is usually what happens with me. My first impression is kind of what I end up going back to. Yeah. Um which is kind of sad because right now they're all new and awesome, but mm-hmm. then I'm just like going to realize that <laughs> some of them are just there's something's wrong. Like, I, I hate to be the negative one on this podcast, let's say, of this this specific episode. Um, but, like, there's so many redundant designs, too. Like, yeah. it's just, it's yeah, tumbleweed but... and bigger tumbleweed. It's, you know, uh, Palmy. Yeah. And then Dunsparce the <laughs> and then three segment to Dunsparce. It's yeah. Palmy and Palmo and, and Palmo. Yeah, Pommy, Pommo, and Pommet is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Like, I think just, everyone agrees. It's yeah. it's terrible. And, it's and so for weird. the record, all three of them, I think all three of them are cute. I just also think, why? Why? You know? And, why does, and why does Finizen evolve into Palafin? Yeah, that, that one is so mind-blowingly like, insane. F- Finizen just should not exist, right? If okay. you're going to give a all Pokemon... Right. no. Listen, no, 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 no. Right. Palafin right. should exist. If you're going to give a Pokemon this big of a gimmick where it gets an entirely new form off this weirdo th- thing, like, it should literally just be a standalone Pokemon like Kecleon or whatever, right? Like, there's yep. no reason why Finizen should evolve into Palafin and look identical just to get a new form. I mean, I get I think, again, I get the gimmick, but just get rid of Finizen. No, I, I think, though, that Finizen is part of the gimmick, though. Like... What and is the what gimmick? I mean by that, it, it, hear me out. So my wife used a Finizen and a Palafin in her playthrough, um, and her Finizen was trash. That thing would die every time she sent it out. And mm. I think that's kind of the thing, is it's supposed to be like a really sucky, you know, like think about like a Spider-Man, you know, Peter yeah. Parker, this little dorky kid who gets beat up at school, and then, you know, it gets the heart of a hero, and now he's this boss. Yeah. I think that's kind of with what the they secret were identity. I guess the a better so that's all fine and great, right? But why did they like this? Is where it literally feels like like lazy <sighs> Dex. Yeah, make the fin, make that. the fin is in a baby dolphin or make I palafin look like an adult dolphin, right? That has that dark blue color that then changes into pa- a palafin. Right, even like the if hero they form. done right, even if if Palafin looked exactly the same as Finizen like it does now, and just had the heart and got the dark blue color of the hero form, that would be it, cool, it been, right? Yeah, no, but I guess what I'm saying is like Literally. I don't understand why the heart is the only change between the evolution. Yeah, that feels like I a form no change. It's it, really, and it does feel cheap. It feels like the Palmy thing where it does feel cheap. So I'm, I guess I'm on the stance of. I do think it should have been a two-stage evolution, but I do think they should have tweaked the evolution a bit. Yeah. Right, of course. <laughs> we all would have wanted that as well. It's just like... And no hate to... Okay. Pal- like, no hate to the, like, the concept. No, the design. Just, yeah. Like, so, it's just crazy, because it's the same thing with last episode. Like, it's things that I don't want to admit, but Game Freak is, like, forcing me yeah. to admit them. Like, I am I- not a person that ever was like game freak is lazy this is a lazy design they're designed they're running out of ideas those those people i forgot i used that word there 
<laughs> no, <it's laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, that was involuntary. I'm, all They're you lazy. guys out there, your your opinion is totally valid. <laughs> it's not. It's not that your opinion isn't valid. I am just not one that believes that. I think that they have right. plenty of ideas and they can come up with all kinds of stuff, but. They're kind of proving me wrong here with this. Like they, <laughs> they literally prove to us that there are some really poor design choices here. Like, man, it's just rough. Like the whole redundant thing is a big hit. And the and the redundancies the could thing. be good. Yeah. Like so, what the Dunspar should have been. Let me pull it up here. What the Dunspar should have been is where it has a two segment form or whatever, and it looks kind of like the same thing. But then what we had speculated is that. If they're going to give it a new form, make it like an awakened form, right? Dunsparce, this whole thing is that its eyes are closed because it lives in a cave. Have it have this form or have its evolution have this form where all of a sudden it, again, make just like a color swap or something. Like you literally just gave it an additional segment to its body. People don't I, love Dunsparce because it's they stupid did, looking. They did. I think is the beard not a little bit like bigger? Like, you know, the like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's got two extra wings. It's got an extra bump. It, it's just like a, it's like a its tail becomes more drill like, and then so he I'm, has I'm, a spiral on his belly. Yeah, I'm fine with the Dunspars being a, a gimmick evolution where it's like just a little. It's like literally just you're you're doing Dunspars twice. I don't mind that, but with the other form, if they're gonna go out of their way to give it another form, make the other form interesting I do agree in some that, way. Yeah. That's where yeah, it, it feels like Dex filler. It is I, weird that they felt like doing these because uh, the Dunsparce and uh, Mousehold, where they felt like just, well, if we did one where it's two and one where it's three, yeah, and there's no difference. It is like so it's weird. not different abilities, not different move sets, not different stats. It's just a cosmetic thing, you know. I, I, just, I, I think Mousehold is good though. Yeah, no, it I'm not good. hating on either. I'm not hating on either. I'm just saying like it is weird that they just suddenly randomly chose to do this. Like, I think yeah. Mousehold would have been cool if there was one form, two form, and then three form, right? If the, maybe they had three babies. And then maybe make the babies, like, maybe, like, make one, a, like, a slightly different shade of white or whatever. Like Instead instead of a proper oh, evolution. Yeah. yeah. It is just, like, why is it an evolution? <laughs> or <laughs> even know, the evolution like, is fine. I, I don't know. Like, I, I, think, I think that form makes sense if I had to pick one out of everything in this game. But there's a lot of weird forms like that where they – they they feel lazy right like i don't want to say it's that but a, that is literally it's a lazy. copy paste it's a copy it's kind of paste. a copy paste it's like it's okay we have paste. these two two mice they're pretty plain let's just make two smaller ones and right. copy and paste them oh copy so so he, here's an example of what they did great uh i don't know how how do you guys even pronounce this knackley knackley yeah knackley knackley yeah knackley could have easily been a boring design like rog and rolla Right, it could have been a, 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 a rock and roll like that. I like rock and roll, but I'm saying like <laughs> I, I guess I, I feel like I feel like oh, here's a better example. It could have been like clink and cling clang, right? It could have right. been a copy paste. It could have been like magnemite, right? E evolving into magneton, but instead they actually made three completely unique designs on the salt concept. I think that's a great example of of an evolutionary line. But then yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh so. I got I this is like a joke complaint. I think uh what Pokemon is this? Frigibax, the the new pseudo legendary is the ugliest, ugliest thing Pokemon on the planet yep. that's ever existed. Is that on purpose cuz I I do not like it. It's not I even think I'm so, it was. so glad that you agree. <laughs> I yeah. I think I am imagining that the idea was to kind of they really like to make like ironic pseudos now for yeah. some reason. But like I think the idea was like for you to see it and go, oh god, no, and not catch it, and then later you find out it evolves yeah. into Bax Caliber. Because Bax Caliber is one of the best. That's like, like it's like that's like Ice Tyranitar. Because like while yep. they looked cute, <laughs> um, I mean they did, and they did really look cute, Dreepy and Goomy, they made them insanely weak. Yeah, that's it, true. As yeah, kind of an ironic true. pseudo thing. Okay, but I can see that. I don't. I, will I don't say, know. You said ugliest Pokemon, so I have to bring this up. The worst Pokemon, not of this gen. Of any game, of any Pokemon game ever, don't say it, don't it's say Golden it. Go. Yeah. It's uh, Golden Go. I, I can't agree with that. I that can't thing. agree with it, but I, I don't like it. So I thought Golden Go was going to be one of those uh, Clavel situations where he pretends to be uh, like uh, Clive, but like uh, Clavel is secretly Golden Go. I I totally uh, I I I I am like in denial about this thing's existence. What do you guys think? Yeah, yes. I think it looks like something <laughs> out of the '90s 
that would i feel like he looks like something that there'd be a 90s commercial where these kids come into their house and they're like oh man school was rough i'm hungry and they're like oh there's nothing in the fridge and then this guy would come through the wall or ceiling or something oh and yeah. Be like, Here's, yeah exactly <laughs> here's some string oh, cheese yeah. and they'd Dude, all string eat cheese the string so cheese and be happy yeah it's <laughs> it's i don't understand it like i actually I think that is. I think the concept behind the design, not the shape or like, not maybe not the design, but like the concept of like Gimme Ghoul being so greedy and like becoming the gold itself. It reminds me of Smaug, right? It, there's also a metaphor there for like addiction, maybe or something. I don't know. Like, right? It's like you become yeah. the thing that you're. If you do drugs, over. you will look like that. Yeah, yeah, that, right. Exactly. <laughs> like, I think that's kind of cool how he like becomes actually gold and that's his new physical body i imagine that gimme ghoul looks identical to what it actually is he has a surfboard too why does he have a surfboard yeah and this is where they go wrong it's like why is that the direction the concept itself is good like the idea of gimme ghoul becoming gold is smart yeah okay but it is poorly execution execution. man it's awful i know i know why he has a surfboard i think i have a theory so is it a reference this... to Scrooge McDuck? Yeah, swimming in gold. No, no, but that's that's actually really good. I like that. <laughs> that's what um, I thought. I'm actually I was gonna say this earlier, like with all of my opinions of these Pokemon, I'm still waiting to see their official art. I'm still waiting to see like all of them in motion because I haven't seen them all. But I'm yeah, also waiting cool. for like yeah. I'm also waiting for like Loxton to make videos on their origins. Oh yes. Yes. Like yes. because it helps so much, even though I really think that some of these are just straight up random and they don't even apply to anything. Yeah. I really do think that. You but know, this one specific this one specifically, um, I think that it has to do with Portugal actually. There's a huge amount of surfing done in Portugal. It's like huge. It's true. Like Hawaii, Portugal. You know, uh, South Africa, they, they right, do that's surfing like where there. the biggest wave was ever, uh, like the biggest wave ever surfed. I'm pretty sure it was in Portugal. Exactly. So I think that that's what the surfing has to do with it. But what yeah. does that have to do with Gimme Goal? I have no right. idea. <laughs> like, right. I guess maybe like the idea was maybe they thought it was always kind of related to the ocean. Because like the treasure chest, you think of pirates or whatever. Yeah, true, That's actually true. kind of cool. But then make it's it look funny. like a pirate. Right. It, it's funny. We were talking about like redundant evolutions and how we didn't like that. This is the time I would have been acceptable. Just give me <laughs> yeah. a bigger gimme ghoul that's gold, not whatever the heck this thing is. My, my well, the favorite leak, the fan design. Yeah, what is it? I was going to say the leaks too. They, you know, Ku said like things like it was liquid gold. Liquid metal, now, right. I was like, yeah. oh, dude, I'm so down for like yeah, that's a liquid cool. yes. gold kind of vibe. I mean, it's like a Sandman. But the thinking- other leak. The other leaker, Kaka, said it was completely different. It was just a gold man. So, I, you know, we had a mix of things, and it is more like what he said. It's, it's a gold, gold man. Gold man. Gold yeah. man. It's a gold surfer, dude. Gold string cheese looking. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, and, so the, the worst part about a new generation and uh, getting a new Pokedex is, like, you start thinking about, like, like my, 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 uh, my first instinct is to be, like, oh, what would a regional form look? Or, oh, maybe we could get, like, a new form or a, a split evolution. And then I go, no, that's not happening for at least a decade from now. <laughs> like, I don't, that, actually, like, I don't there's know. There's no shot. Okay, so here's the thing. We know about Gimme Ghoul's, uh, like, roaming form that's only in Go. Yeah. Right? So, like, there is no uh, Golden Go, uh, like, extra form in the data of the game it's in data mind it's not in there yeah (laughs) yeah but i could still see it happening i could still see them doing something special for gimme ghoul roaming form that you get in pokemon go and then that you transfer into i think that it could just lose the belt i think it could just lose the belt no because the do it go away with all of it (laughs) I, i wish but i think that it'd be something small and redundant but just like the other forms, I like I think that it would just lose its belt because the roaming form does not have the uh, the yeah, chest. Right. You know, it doesn't have the chest. Doesn't have the belt. I think it's very possible. Interesting. I'm, I heard recently. I heard today uh, that like uh, uh, in the code right now, both forms of Gimme Ghoul evolve into Golden Go. Yeah. Right, but they yeah. can always change that, especially because like 
the Go connectivity, so like where you can get roaming for, won't come out until 2023. So they could very easily do it and then announce, like, let's say it happens March of 2023, and then they're like, also, when you evolve it, it'll evolve into this Pokemon, which will yeah. be available to be transferred into Scarlet and Violet once the DLC releases in June, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah. So do you guys want to talk about some designs that we love? Because I, I, I'm I, realizing uh, we're 40 <laughs> minutes strong right now on the negative, but I really, there are so many amazing things about this Pokedex. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, so Titan and Kilowattrol, to me, are genuinely, like, so Titan might be top 10 favorite Pokemon. That's Kilowattrol cool. might be top 20, which I know that doesn't sound too impressive, but when you figure there's now over 1,000 of these, that, that is good to make it in there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Best starter combination, like as a whole, that yeah. we've uh, as a threesome that we've had since like I don't even know, maybe Senna. Yeah, I I I, I totally agree with that. I I think I, I tweeted that this morning. I totally yeah, you agree. did. I I feel like we should like almost save the starters for another video at this point. But like just as a general like overview of the starters, I am completely in the opposite court here <laughs> as you really? guys. Yeah, I, wow. I, you think I don't Galar like better? any. You don't, you don't yeah. like any of them. No, I don't he really likes like Intellion. any of them. Really? I do like Intellion, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say that they're better as a whole than the Galar starters. Like those were really? just very hard to love altogether. Yeah. Um, but no, so I, I, hated I just theories. wouldn't say like. I just wouldn't say. I, I have a thing with starters though too. Like I am not a big starter guy. Um, that's fair but anyway they, they, have a we'll they, have, they do have a specific purpose right? yeah yeah they definitely do um yeah i um, saw like say, someone favorite? yeah Go someone like even said on twitter like they refused to use it this was a while ago but like they had said i don't even remember who it was but they'd said that they don't use a starter because they don't like something being forced onto their team so there are people that mm. just like you know especially because like Water, fire, and grass, that's kind of what we see as the core typings. So that's kind yeah. of what that's referred to as. And, well, if I, especially the water typing, water's the second most common typing in the game next to normal. So if I pick the water starter, I now kind of have limited myself. If I want to balance team, I can't really pick up another water type. So I get uh, people who don't want to use the starters. And especially if you're not crazy about the designs. I feel like people think they have to use one because that's the one you get at the very beginning. But, like, if you're not crazy about the, you know, designs, box it. Yeah, that's so something I'm like, I definitely I'm do. like, traditional. Yeah. I'm, like, way more traditional with it, so I, like, want to keep it. You know, I'm right. like, this is the starter. This is the one I'm having on my team as a partner kind of thing. You only have but, that experience once, right? Yeah, right. I'm not going to do it again most yeah. of the time. Um, yeah. The I'll, I'll pick a different starter if they're actually good designs. But my, my thing with starters in general is just I don't vibe with a lot of their designs yeah. not just these ones but like just starters in general I'm like I'm in the completely opposite thing of what you were saying Lumi like it has nothing to do with typing or whatever <laughs> it's just like I don't get some of these designs what um, do you think it is I mean yeah we can talk about this later if you want to but what, yeah what do you think it is that that you don't love about starters I have no idea what it actually is I just don't think that they're they just don't I vibe think their with designs me. are limited I think yeah. their designs are very limited. They like, have to end up a specific Think about, way. right, right. Think about how wild some designs get, you know? Like, I mean, I, I know I keep bringing him up, but, like, so Titan, I think it's a very wild design, and some of the choices they made, like its mouth and everything, that yeah. could never be so a Titan, starter. So Titan would never be a starter. Same thing never. with Sarah Lynch, exactly. right? That, like, that, that's in the other right. direction. Too edgy. Right. Yeah. It, 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 it has they have to be a... this perfect balance of still kind of can maybe be seen as cute can also be cool but it can't lean completely cool or lean completely cute especially in recent gens i felt they've done that yeah yeah the fact that yeah, we... Dirge even exists is a blessing and yes. i'm truly <laughs> thankful like i i really am thankful uh that we actually have a monster design right in 20 like in generation nine dude it's 20 it's gonna be 2023 like the last time we had a monster design like this was maybe gen 5 right I since definitely then, agree. Since then, yeah. they've all been variations of... They've all been character designs. First, and then Pokemon second. Right. Mm, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, back to just being positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I really... 
I've already said it, but I love Slitherwing. The thing is amazing. It stands yes. up. It sits down. It's a worm. It's a dragon. It's it's beautiful. Um, yeah. You'll I have really... to do Terra Dragon on it, Soul. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I know we talked about Dunsparce, do Dun the Dunsparce, but I'm like, I love Dunsparce. <laughs> I love Dunsparce and I love the Dunsparce. They are both perfect to me. I I don't have a problem mm-hmm. with it. I, no, I I love them. Too, wish it yeah. was better, but yeah, yeah. yeah it's I the guess... redundancy that is weird. That should have been the name, Redunsparce. It is yeah. though. That is that's that... what it is. That's the Dunsparce is redundant. Redunsparce. And I think, yeah. I think it also works too because it's also like da dun like you know like it's almost like yeah, a drum that's... roll because like the thing you've all been waiting for you know oh, that's but, yeah uh, well and I, I think that's, that's it's the great beauty of that's the some, <laughs> that's like it. some last jedi uh, ryan johnson stuff though like why are you making fun of the thing that we love and are anticipating like give us it's just true. deliver it's true. just deliver well, but you're, I think, make, I think you're making fun thing. of the fans i i think that's yeah. the thing though is it's not making fun of the fans it is literally like it's it's celebrating if you love sure, Dunsparce yeah. and love you this. want Dunsparce to get more, this is your kind of mon. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like it kind of is just you, more Dunsparce. So right, if you perfect. loved Ursaring, an Ursaring evolution has to be a fierce bear. So we're giving you Ursaluna. You know? You know, I would disagree. Like Ursaluna is so different, right? Ursaluna has actually is, but off still like fans a, of Ursaring. It's a, it, see, that's Ur- because fans of Ursaring are wrong. <laughs> Ursaring is awesome and stands up and is an is an angry bear, but because it was made in Gen two, it looks a little incomplete, right? It looks it's got that simplistic look. So they I actually basically never made thought it, it did. I, I always kind of thought it looked a little like plain, but it's a normal type. Yeah, so no, I, I agree. I, I but so I think that's. Anyways, I'm not. I, I don't I think. I guess Dun- a better example would be like Electabuzz. Electabuzz is like a cool sure. kind of. If you like that kind of stuff, you want something fierce looking and kind of angry looking like Electabuzz. Okay, so he, he, here's the thing though. This is where I draw the line. If you make a new Pokemon, right? Any new Pokemon that they make, traditionally, they get a new. They get new eyes, right? If it's a Mega Form, same eyes. If it's a Regional Form, same eyes. The Dunsparce is an evolution, and it gets a new form, and they all have the same eye. As <laughs> that's like that's yeah. like your. So that's to me, it's just a mega. It. It's yeah, just a mega. I, I I agree, but this is my take on it right here. I was actually afraid that they would do that, that they would change its eyes, that it would look like very right. scary, different, like that it would just be ugly and not the way that I want it to be, <laughs> like okay. different from Dunsparce. You know, like, I Dunsparce already, to me, I already loved it. Like, I just wanted it to be stronger and people to appreciate it more. And that's literally what they gave me. So I'm, yeah, like, kind of happy about it. Every good, at least good in my opinion, Dunsparce evolution fan art, because, you know, God knows over the last 20 plus years we've seen There's some. There's so many good ones. It has the face of Dunsparce still. Yeah. Yeah, but it'll have, like, have a long neck or it'll have angel. the new colors or it'll yeah. look like a dragon. Right. Uh, so I saw some art, and I'm going to post this uh, on Twitter eventually. It, it's literally all they had to do was take the Dunsparce, pull it up, and like make it hunch over and mm. flying. Yeah. Like yes. exactly the same thing, but just like up in the air, like with yeah. its head over and its tail down. Uh, it would have been incredible. Like just the same that, stance as like an Arbok, like a or 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 thwer- yeah. or Orthworm. <laughs> yeah. Say exactly. That. Exactly. But flying. Yeah. Yeah, that um, would have been neat. It's the same design, just different posture. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah it would that much better. That's it's a like the Typhlosion thing, like the flames versus no flames. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying I to love, think of like other ones, but I think Tarantula is so good. Yes, Tarantula. I think it's, it's I have one such a great cookies. design. It's yeah, it's because I have so, one uh, web, cookies, but I looks accidentally like surprise traded it. Oh, you the, surprise the, traded it. I didn't mean to. I accidentally. Cl- <laughs> I was just kind of rapidly clicking A. His name was Cookies. Dude, you would do that to your son? Bye bye, Cookies. I'm very upset <laughs> bye about bye it. Cookies, yeah. <laughs> she also may have been a girl. I, I don't remember. It's been yeah. so long. <laughs> I'll catch. Uh, I'll catch. We'll name it. Yeah. Dude, that There's actually that, that actually happened to a relative, people. like uh, like like Kaylee's sister. They had a cat for like five years. They thought it was a boy. Um, turns out it was a girl the whole time. It's, it's I thought you was... were 
noodle. I would Something think you'd. Different. I would think you'd get it the other way around. Yeah, well, I was I wasn't part of the family back then, like, <laughs> so I. I you know, literally thought I don't that take you any were credit. Talk about family members giving away a family member. I, no, I no, thought no, it no, was. No. He was like, "No, that happened in my family," and I was like, "Oh, okay." So we're we're going this route with the podcast today. Yeah. All right. We, we gotta we gotta vent a little bit. You're getting yeah. de- deep here. <laughs> I have a good story about tarantula. Um, the perks of having a lot of followers is sometimes you just say, man, I really want something. And a very kind person pops up into your DMs and says, hey, I'll trade you one. Oh, so I, I got saw a shi- this. I got a shiny. shiny. Yeah. Dude, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it's beautiful. It's really just for show because I'm, I'm not going to use it on a team, but I'm going to yeah. always keep him and cherish him forever. That's awesome, man. That is, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do you, are you going to evolve Those people it? out there. No, I'm not going to evolve it. Yeah, I, it's you, it's shiny is too good. The other one is really the, good. The spite, what spite is ops, spite ops shiny. I forgot it. I know I saw it's it. It's like yellow, right? Or... It's pink. So it goes yeah. from red to like pink, brown. Oh yeah, yeah it's not man, terrible. It's not as fun though. It's not as yes. fun though. Yeah. Spite ops is like kind of a, a hideous Pokemon, but like in a good way. I like its little yeah. mustache, and I love how it's what is it called? Like a Lorax? Is that what it's or thorax? How like that, yeah. that bottom part of its body is actually just a spool of yarn, and it's like it's like grown up to learn how to like how to like manage all of the yarn. I love that. I like yep. when they this give a Pokemon design. a signature move too, and they gave him a signature move. So what's I its like that. What's its signature move? It is a version it of Protect, where if the Pokemon makes contact with the Protect, it lowers their speed. Oh, Silk Trap. Yep. yep. That's pretty cool. Dude, I asked my my. Spide ops when he evolved you know where it says like push x and you ask him yeah. if they want to learn if they want to learn the move and it was that move and he was like no i'd rather keep the other move <laughs> like no <laughs> i'm bro. good thanks You're learning. You're you learning know that this. that is a really cool feature that i feel like they might they i don't know if this is actually true because they so i i was thinking like that would be a great thing to do an entire run of pokemon at in only using that to learn moves as like a challenge run no, it's funny you say that. I know someone who's doing exactly that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Because it's, it's such yeah. a weird mechanic for them to, like, add in. There's no, like, actual, like, there's no, like, tangible benefit to it, really. I, no, I think it's completely random. I yeah. think I it think is, that... too. Because, like, it's not smart. Like, I know I saw, like, someone had posted that, like, a Squawkabilly wanted to get rid of, like, I don't know, Aerial Ace for something, like, kind of dumb. But... No way. Yeah. It, 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 it will and then you know yours didn't want to learn silk trap so i mean yeah. it's not completely yeah. wise so uh like don't do that i think like maybe uh um I, another weird one that i think there'll be varying opinions on is what are your thoughts on the ruinous quartet because i have mm, some strong yeah. thoughts on these things oh yeah i saw you you ch- you texted these actually in our chat and i didn't respond kind of on purpose so that we could talk about them but <laughs> um i i like them i like them question mark i like chien pao a lot like yeah, a lot, chien a lot, is a lot easy a to lot. like it's easy to like yeah the rest of them i like i don't like them like i'm surprised you don't like the snail i'm surprised uh, dude like it's kind of disappointing that snail but really? i I, like I love it. the eyes on it like yeah uh that's so neat Okay, so my thing is, I really I just want Game Freak to make a snail. Like, can they just give Do me a snail? Do they not have a snail? Like, at Cargo. Yeah, Med Cargo. It's still not a snail snail. It's literally like, a snail. I know. Okay, this thing this is, is literally a snail, just, like, then. This thing is literally a snail, but I'm still right. looking for, like, an exact snail. <laughs> Do you know what I'm right, saying? What about, like, about Slagoo? So, so, they've given you Mag Cargo, they've given you Hisui and Gudra, and they've given you Wo Chien. If you don't like any of those three, at that point, you're just being picky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, I just want it to be a regular snail. Is it that tough? I don't know. So, so yeah. normally, like, people go, oh, I hate <laughs> Flamingo, it's just a Flamingo. And Soul's over here like, just give me a snail, stop Pokemon Isaac, <laughs> just give me a snail. <laughs> you know, exactly. people wanted a dolphin for 20 years, and they finally got... Uh, they got dolphin. two dolphins. They got this. They got two dolphins. The same dolphin. The same <laughs> dolphin twice. Right. I mean, a uh, third dolphin. That's like a comically weird dolphin. Ser- comically, that's a pun, right? The Superman. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you caught that. Good. Thank you. 
so I these Pokemon I haven't actually encountered in game yet. I think their designs were a little underwhelming at first, based on the design, based on the fact that we were thinking about these Pokemon from the leaks in the same way we would think about, or in relation to um, the Weather Trio, not the Weather Trio, the the the, the Genie Kami Trio, yeah. yeah, the Kami Trio, and also the the Tapu uh, Quartet. Right, yeah. those were the Pokemon that were in the conversation uh, when we were talking about this these Pokemon, and these I, really remind me of the the what is it Cal not Calyrex but the two horse Pokemon that Calyrex rides. Um, those those Glacier Pokemon, and Spectre, yeah, yeah Glastier and Spectre have such a have such simple like like strangely simple designs for a three D game. They really th like it almost does. They don't feel like complete designs. Um, and some of these feel like that. I think mostly where that mostly where I think about that is Champao and Tinglu. Both of those seem very like stiff. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. they have like very they have they have a few amount of colors in each of their designs. I think Champao has three colors, including black, right? White, yeah. black, and like blue. So I, I don't I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe it'll be different when I actually play the games. Yeah. Um, I those are I will say. Me off. Uh, so. I don't know if y'all have discovered this, but in Mesa Goza, you can actually take classes at the academy. And really? Yes, and you can take a history class, and they give you, like, history on Paldea and Area Zero and all this, and they actually do a history lesson on these. It's just one class, and it's, like, it's completely optional. It's not story. It's just kind of lore about these mons. Cool. And when you listen to them, it talks about how these were actually, like, treasures that became pokemon so i yeah. think that explains the mm -hmm. stiffness of them um, that was, and, that was, yeah i like that and, and it's also neat too because it uh hints about um it talks about how they came from a trainer who brought them from a region in the east so mm -hmm. uh china gen 10 you're hearing it here first yeah i mean literally uh, the names right like that's right it feels but, kind of um, obvious but i love them i love that uh their stakes are hard to find um I found and two. I love that. You have to find eight per one. Oh wow! I okay. love I love that it's like a proper side quest. Like, yes. I was really kind of disappointed that there aren't really side quests in this game, and this is yeah. actually one of them. Like this is a yes. proper side quest that you can go on, and I mean it's still like collecting quests, but it's still extensive. <laughs> let's say, um, and you get a reward at the end, so it's really good. I, sure. Oh, I, I didn't think... even know about the reward. I'm I'm excited to see that because I no I've... they're they are the reward. <laughs> oh okay okay yeah. I sorry. um I know I found I found Tinglu and I caught him last night, and I got all the stakes for Chimpao today, and then my Satitan got a critical hit, wishing to be praised. And <gasps> no, it, so you don't um, save, but you you wait what? I you don't have auto save, so you can soft reset, right? Um, I I forgot to so. I forgot he's gone save, forever like, no 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 it said it said he just went back into the cave and like the seal okay. reappeared on the cave but then when i tried to click it to like restart the battles like gm pal is gonna stay in there for a while and i was like great oh maybe it's like so maybe you have to i wait guess a day. it has to wait a day yeah but that's probably <laughs> i did think that was funny though i was like i kicked his butt so hard he he was like i ain't coming out I'll yeah stay he's like crying <laughs> i'm that's gonna bunny bad. i'm gonna bunny trail here for a second but remember when pokemon was like you if you knocked it out it was gone forever yeah because yes. that was that was intense and yeah. great right and it really awful was. yeah <laughs> well and i think i think you know to kind of take that and uh segue it into why i love these that's what i loved about them it was a legendary pokemon where it was no longer walk into this cave and they're sitting there for you to uh click a on them and then just launch a pokeball at it and you've got them no you have to work for these and where do they i don't appear? remember they're in seals scattered around the region. There's one in the south, one in the uh, um, I mentioned a bamboo forest um, in the last episode. Um, that's there's one there, and then there's one in the fall area, and there's one kind of in the windmills area, like around there. That's really cool. I, I love how these designs. So uh, just to to go back to what I was thinking about before, like how simple these designs are. Like I like how. Like I like how the the ruin piece, right, the object, are, uh, th that each of these contain are not incorporated like smoothly into the designs. I like how I like how 
like kind of separated they both are you can tell uh that it's just kind of like an add-on right or they are a spirit too like the like the object itself is the main part of the body i right. think that's really nice and, th and that kind Blue of adds... especially i think you can see that the vessel became a pokemon because of yeah like you mentioned it looks stiff looking yeah and team glue i think especially that was that was what they were going for yeah it's cool, and I think yeah. it also adds to like. I mean, I'm, I haven't, I haven't taken my classes yet, right? Like, I haven't discovered these Pokemon, right. but it, it, it kind of like explains the dark side, and I don't know if this mm -hmm. was in a. No, it I gives don't... them a backstory too, and it's okay. really cool. Like, it gives a whole like fairy tale, kind of like that thing we got about Gimme Ghoul. Yeah. It gives like something like that, where like there's a king who got these treasures and all this. It's really Sweet, neat. Dude, I, I highly recommend lore. taking them. Me Bro, too. I when I saw there was a up, history dude. class. They're when I saw mm -hmm. there was a history class in Paldea, I was like, yes. Cause I'm That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, right. I think cool. they starve us so much with the lore. Like, they only kind of give us little, like, trickles of lore each uh, game. So yeah. I, I think that that's why Pokemon fans are so crazy about the lore is because we don't have much of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we just I, make it up. <laughs> so can, can you guys answer this for me? Like, I, I, I remember in, during the league season hearing that these things may or may not be connected to or have uh, additional forms that we could see in the future where like the either the pokemon does either the pokemon exists without the burden of the item or maybe the item is purified in some way um what do you, i don't know what, do you guys have any i have not that? heard that i do remember people were tying them to the uh Ami quartet um but uh i, I think, think that's that was that all from. speculation i think yeah that was i think just... okay there was enamorous was just this year uh they're chinese in origins these are chinese in origin it just okay. makes sense but um no nah, i don't i don't think there will be anything but okay. dude i'm telling you i love these i would love it if there was yeah yeah be, cool. i would love it too it's definitely not it's just what louis said like there was no leaks about that it was just okay. because mm, i had a theory probably that that they were so um, fault. <laughs> yeah, it might be my fault, but I had a theory about them being related to the Kami Trio because sure. there's a quartet because there's an opposite um, dark version of them yeah. in the Chinese mythology. It just makes perfect sense that they would be the four right. that would be opposite them, and especially maybe, right after giving an amorous. Yeah, and maybe there is still some kind of connection that I haven't found yet. But it would be very, very loose, and it has nothing to do with <laughs> them, basically. Well, and, and I will say the. Uh... And it could just be because Enamorous was in um, Legends, and they gave them all signature moves in Legends. But the uh, the Comic Quartet is in the data for the game, so like they will be available once Home comes out. Yeah. Yep. And the the interesting detail with that is if you look back at Sword and Shield and look at the Pokemon that were available via Home, um, in the uh, base game, it were a lot of them were Pokemon that shown in some way in dlc so like there were the alola starters well you get them in dlc uh by doing the little diglet quest there was the uh swords of justice which had their own side quests in the crown tundra wow. yeah it's definitely cool i don't want to leave this without um saying something about chi yu it's a cute little fish i know i love him <laughs> and i love they start fire i love it's fire really nice. one it is I love nice. pokemon that are uh aquatic but don't have the water type you know it's, the red type. Locked, all it's that. like so that. odd that it's dark fire for a yeah. fish it is also very odd design i don't feel like it looks like a pokemon either um but i still like it's it it's definitely a pokemon <laughs> it just has a weird like it has these things on its eyes that's all which maybe is why it doesn't look like i think a pokemon. it's it's actual eyes that really like are weird to me they're like black, all black, and then there's just the white around. I don't know. It's very, it's odd. Yeah. I need to see it. I need it's to see the eye. artwork. I need to see you, the artwork. You need to see it in game too if you haven't. Like actually moving and stuff in game. That I, saved Ting Lu for me. Like that yeah. made me go from just, he's one of the four that I need to catch to, oh, he's he's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You want to move on to those uh, cross gen evos really quick and wrap yeah, it up? Yeah, I'm realizing we didn't even talk about those yet. Just, yeah. Just like, Touch I on them. I think they're amazing. I think <laughs> these are like these are peak cross gen evolutions, and they didn't overdo it with. Uh, they didn't overdo it like in Gen Four, where you have like where it's like the majority of the decks, right? Um, I, I think these are excellent, right? I, th I I love that they peppered these in with the with the Paldean forms, with the conversion forms. Like 
It's so good. I think that they were perfect for, uh, I guess, they they took the traits that we loved about the original Pokemon, yeah. and they amplified them. Primeape is this crazy, rabid ape. So they said, what if it was so crazy and rabid, its it body dies. couldn't withstand the <laughs> anger anymore? B-Sharp is this cool samurai. So they said, what if we did, like, this cool head samurai giraffe rig but they this... even i'm sorry but they even do the the, the the pokemon thing by not just making bisharp a mega form right they literally right. make king gambit so cool that it only sits which actually makes it a little goofy right yes. that's what makes yeah. it a pokemon that it never stands up yeah, and and yeah. on that note that's kind of similar with farigraf too yes yeah. people love this cute little giraffe that had a kind of monster side to it and farigraf is that it's a cute giraffe that has this monster side to it where is this even I, index? i'm actually not a fan of king gambit at all oh really <laughs> yeah I'm, i don't, I don't like, like how it moves in game they literally have it sit while you're walking around exactly it, so it looks yeah. like he's got like a motorized wheelchair or something yeah it like yeah bounces. It's, it's so i'm weird. not gonna use one now because of that but like it's yeah. a pokemon like it, it, it's it's a goofball that's all pokemon are goofballs i i agree but it's also kind a of. man yeah. <laughs> it's also a man he, yeah. like, literally becomes more man. But I'm not against, like, man designs totally, but I don't know. It just It's a problem when it's on the starters. Oh, see, I get that. I like humanoid designs, but I don't like human designs. This doesn't yeah. feel like a human, though. This feels like this feels like Ceruledge or anything else, right? Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know how this is different. different. It's got a... It's got a look at it thing. in game. Look at it I was going to say the same thing. Like, you got to get a closer look at him. It has yeah. hair. It's sitting on its hair. Yeah, but you humans can't sit on their hair. True. I mean, yeah, I it's guess just that's more a fair ridiculous. Point. <laughs> it's just like, more like ridiculous. Like those are its honest. feet. You, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm and not, it's, not it's a got fan. those like metal spikes around it as a as a defense. I'm I'm in the uh, in the minority of that anyway. So don't okay. worry. A I, lot of people I'm love it. I'm indifferent to it. I I think it is really cool, like art wise. Dude, make it stand up and walk around when it's yeah, following me. That's a little silly. But I mean, again, I, I do like that it's it is a different thing. But yeah, even if it walked around and then sat down mostly, that'd be kind of cool. Or battled sitting down, that'd be kind of cool. Um, I, I I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's a really cool Pokemon. I also yeah, annihilate same thing. Claude Sire went the Claude Claude's, Lord. Yeah, Claude's crazy. <laughs> I, I want to use this. It's got like spikes Beautiful. on its backs when it battles. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. Sarah used one in her playthrough, and that she literally like started going into. We go into gyms like using however many Pokemon the gym leaders use. Like we'll take That's the cool. others out of that. our party. I should do that. And she would she would go in with Claude Sire, and like her Pokemon would faint, and Claude Sire would just clean house every yeah. time. I mean, it, it's tough. It's adorable. I'm and pumped, perfect. Man. So I really want to keep playing Scarlet and Violet, but I mean, I don't know. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? Tinkaton is like blowing up on the internet. The, the art just got leaked. Or not leaked, yeah, people but, love it. processed. I, I got one on my team, um, but it's kind of late in the game where I feel like I haven't really built a connection with it. Um, right. You know? It's I so like powerful, it. too. But I it's love very the type. powerful. I love the concept. I mean, that's a solid typing. I mean, yeah. very it's steel... That's where I mean Zashin tore through VGC for a yeah. reason. It wasn't just because of that ability. What's Klefki's excuse? He <laughs> was Klefki did all right when it was uh, first introduced. Prankster, it just yeah, a different thing. There's so many yeah. cool Pokemon I've yet to discover. Even like Bram Wild again. dude, I think Bramblin is really cool. I know you don't like the evolution, but I really do think Bramblin. No, I love it. I, love I like it. it. I just it is like it's one of those like Dunsparts where it's like. Even if you like it, you have to admit they just kind of. What if yeah. it got bigger? Yeah. Yes, but also I love them. Like I don't even yeah. care that they're redundant. I love Bramblin. It's adorable, and Bramblegas is like, it's got a crazy looking smirk smile on it with teeth. Mm -hmm. It's it's great. I did. Really we need like both. Cool to Probably be in game but... too. Like I mean, okay, it's I see. you wouldn't even know it's a if if you do not keep up with the new Pokemon or the leaks or whatever you would go into the game and not know that that's a Bramblin. Like, it, yeah. cause it's just, yeah. while it's hopping across the desert. Can you Bramble catch them wild? Too. I've only yeah. seen Bramblin in the wild. Bramblegast, I found uh, it in the fall area. Maybe or, I've know, seen it and I just didn't Bouncing know around different. like a Bramblin. It's just a bigger point. Bramblin. That's how I wow. knew. All right. Well, what about, oh, we got to talk about the dogs, dude. 
These dogs were such a worst things I ever experienced. They were such a big (laughs) part of the leak of the leak cycle. Yeah, the dogs, man. I I, Fido's evolution blew me away. I love it. The rest I could just literally just amazing ability. Leave me alone with these dogs. Yeah, I don't Mastiff want is, them. Mastiff is gross. I think um, so I like gross. Houndstone and Grievard. They're, yeah, they're I do too. I, I didn't like terrifying. I didn't like Grievard when I went on during, like when they re, when they revealed it. I was indifferent to it. But its evolution is it, it's growing on me. I think it make it looks more dead. The proportions are better. I like that I can't see the eyes. Um, the tombstone is sick. And it, the, it, it actually gets it actually gets like the the skeleton look right like its legs look right. like the Dude, skeleton of a dog go which to I the like ghost better. gym go to the ghost gym and you'll love this line yeah it's cool and it's, it's apparently... exactly it's exactly what i wanted but done completely wrong <laughs> that's, how, that's how i feel about it <laughs> like on paper skeleton it sounds dog. amazing right yeah so what do you think about aspartha that was something that you were excited about or aspathra aspathra I, I definitely like it it's very okay. cool looking. it's cool I, yeah. I, I have this whole thing where I don't even think it's like not a fan even, of little. It's not a bird, right? Yeah. I don't I don't think it's actually a bird. It's an it looks like a chick. No, no, no. As, so as Aspathra, I don't think either of them are actually birds. They're both psychic type. I think they're imitating. I think there's I think there's something there where they're imitating what a, bird, a, good... a chick and a bird would look like because Aspathra, huh. it's got a mouth underneath what you think is the beak. Like it's got really? a mouth that opens up. Yeah, like if that's the beak, the mouth is like opens here. That's a good uh, theory video right there, because the the flittle is actually looks like um oh what kind of octopus is it? Dumbo. It's like yes. a dum- yeah Dumbo. So it yeah. might be like a fish or something. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, because be I do like th- it. I can't. I don't know if you guys can think of anything off the top of your head. But it like, makes sense for the psychic type too. Like that's yes. often associated with like intelligence Aliens. and all, mm-hmm. and it it you know would be intelligent enough to be kind of infiltrating. Mm-hmm infiltrating like an alien but also like just trying to like adapt uh to right. its environment i think wug trio is the best i think it's the best form of of doug trio i would definitely agree on that yeah of doug trio yeah for sure yeah doug trio. I, we could talk a while on on convergent evolution whatever sure. our fakes i have to give but, that its own like yeah thing I think Dondozo, I'm just going to run through this deck real quick because there are Pokemon that we've missed. Dondozo, Dondozo, I haven't fought it in battle yet. I'm like right there. Uh, this thing is sick. Like I think I love the size it's of cool it. Looking. It reminds me of Gyarados, but it's like it's actually just a fish rather than a dragon. Um, I, I want to get the sushi Pokemon. I think Reverum and Varum are great. I think uh, my little theory there is that it's actually just like like the the rocks that it's on, I've seen people complain that it's silly, that it doesn't really make sense. But really, the, that I have a of, huge problem with that. Yeah, <laughs> I think that. that part of its body is really just uh, that. Those are just rocks that it collects in order to move its body. And just how we, just like we see it on, um, we see Reverum and Verum on uh, the what are they called? Like the Team Skull uh, mobiles, right? Team Star, it's, yeah, Star it, mobiles. This thing is like a like it's like a it's like a it just like leeches onto something that can help it move around and the steel and the poison type just kind of describes like the energy that it uses to to move to move whatever object it's attached it to itself to yeah i don't know i like i like the design a lot it's I like, all right it's mid to me okay. yeah i like the engine itself but it just doesn't make any sense and it is also small engine to big engine again yeah uh, like, so just, what what about so unnecessary. Do you guys like Orthworm? I liked him more seeing him <laughs> in game with the little arms. The arms really threw me off. I like the arms actually. I like the <laughs> it gives arms, it a little more yeah. character. I like that it's steel type and it's essentially just like a new Steelix. Yeah. It's, it's not fun. nearly as cool. It's so weird. Could have but... made it a convergent uh like a convergent onyx. Sure, yeah. They could have done that. Yeah. I like that it's actually like a worm though, like it's just a massive earth right. worm. That's awesome. Yeah, Tatsugiri. I need to get a hand, uh, a hold of one of those. I like the, um, I like the purple form. Where is yeah. it? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, this I one got. right here. This is the one yeah. I want really bad. The shinies are cool too. That's the droopy form. Yeah, that's droopy form. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is have you guys droopy, stretchy, and what? I don't know what uh, the other one is actually. Yeah, I don't have it here. 
Have you guys seen Glamora in your game yet? Glamora no. looks incredible in the game. Uh, it's in the area with paradoxes and whatnot. And dude, I'm telling you, it feels like you're walking into that Avatar movie. Wow, that's crazy. The Part of me is people, like not the Airbenders. Yeah, <laughs> Glamora is so weird. Like I haven't even gotten to that point yet, but Glamora is so weird, and the fact that it appears. I know other Pokemon also appear in Area Zero, but Glamora appears there as a new Pokemon alongside all the Paradox. Kind of gets me thinking, like, is this thing, like, a Paradox of something else? Like, what the heck is this thing? It feels like an alien. It does not feel, like, of Earth. Dude, you'll it feel cool. it even more when you see it in-game. I can't wait. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play that tonight. Um, is there any other Pokemon you guys want to just touch on? Uh, just This is just our first you know uh just our first impressions we'll eventually do like a new like a like a full tier list um that'll be a lot of fun at some point yeah i i just you know all i want to get across before we end the video is that armor is just better than sir ledge <laughs> i love it i love that you jumped onto this bandwagon with me <laughs> we're, we're gonna it's we're perfect. gonna end every video i'm right. every episode i'm going to manage to sneak end that this. end at the end we gotta end this quickly <laughs> <laughs> all right uh it's yeah good. so thank you guys so much for watching again this is episode zero we're gonna have a full polished episode one that's gonna start um either in december or january uh subscribe you know refresh the, uh, the the bell notification so you guys get notified when we have new videos. Also, if if you prefer to listen to your podcasts on uh, Spotify, this show, Hidden Power, is also available on Spotify. You can go there uh, as well. Subscribe there. Um, you guys have anything else to say? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm subscribing now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. See you guys. Peace out. See you.